Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. If you're new here, my name is Braylon. I am a self-contained special ed teacher, and on this channel, I talk a lot about setting up my classroom, classroom management, um, visuals, schedules, curriculum, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, one of my previous videos, I talked a lot about setting up my visual schedules and my task boxes and stations. And I was realizing that I didn't go in depth into all the pieces of how to set up the schedule in terms of laminating it, what products to use. So I'm back and we're gonna be talking more about visual schedules. So for this video, I'm working with Michaela from Especially Education to talk all about the First Then Flipbook. And if you've seen in my previous video, I use that for a lot of my students. And there are definitely ways that you can use parts of that book and kind of differentiate it and make it special for different students. So I'm here at school, I've been setting stuff up, but I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna start printing, laminating, and I'm gonna show you how I set up my book. On Teachers Pay Teachers, it's easier to search for the visual schedule flipbook. Downloading is relatively easy, it comes in a zip file, and comes with everything that you need. So there are six pages, but like I've said, they're all editable. And here I can edit and look through all the different designs and colors. And as you can see, it's the different faces um, kind of to represent the different kids. For printing purposes, sometimes I like the bigger book, which will print eight and a half by 11. And then there are other times that the smaller book works better and I sometimes use the smaller version. Some of the pages are editable like here I'm gonna make this book for Jessica, a hypothetical student. I might add a schedule page um, and then maybe a home page. You never know. All the icons are super bright and that's kind of why I was drawn to the book and they're really applicable to my kids. Sometimes I even um, edit my own PEX pictures. Like here, I'm just being a little cheeky and putting my own face there, but um, it's easy to edit anything. I've shown you these token boards many times and along with the tokens, but I like the bright colors of them. Hi, I'm back and I'm here in my little office space and I'm going to get started. I'm going to start printing, laminating, and cutting all of the pieces that I need to assemble these books. Now, I want to stress that um, I do have a printer and a laminator, but in terms of binding, I'm going to show you a few different options that you can use to bind the books together. One of the options is I go to Staples and get it professionally bound. That's just what I prefer to do. There are other options such as putting it in a binder or using a book ring um, to keep it all together. Now I'm gonna show you a few different choices. Like I said, I have a lot of students that use this book and as I go through, I'm gonna show you how I print it off, some of the customizations that I make with this book, um, as well as just the general template and how you can find it online on Teachers Pay Teachers. I am just really excited to get started and to show you all of the pieces and all of the things that I'm making. For this book, it comes with a ton of pictures. Now I love them because they're super clear and concise. So here I have just general academics. You'll see colors in case you color code your classroom for anything, um, just basic things throughout the day, backpack, computer, circle time, calendar, morning work, independent work, task boxes. I use this one like I've mentioned before. Cooking, going outside, class party. I love these ones. These are very helpful. The office one I use a lot. I do this so that I always have a way to cue my students. So a lot of times if I want them to cut, I will give them the cut or the write the name, raise your hands. A lot of times I will take these and put them on a book ring. And that is also how I prompt my students. There are a few more waiting in line. Let's see what else we've got. I love to use these as well. I will also put these on a book ring oftentimes so that I have them on me to cue, but a lot of times I keep them in the book 
and then I will add them to the front for the first then, just to let them know that they have five minutes until they're um, finished. This is another one, I love these. I actually tend to use these, cut them out, laminate them, and put them on a book ring and connect them to my lanyard because a lot of times when I'm in line, I just like to whip out these photos and kind of prompt my students without verbally having to say anything to them. This is, um, these are more pictures for home, which I love. Now, on the first then flip book, you can either have a schoolhouse or you can make one for at home. Um, a lot of these actually I might even use at school, such as breakfast, because my school provides breakfast. I make them brush their teeth, put their shoes on. Sometimes we go to the grocery store to practice, so I might use those. Medication, um, bathroom, get in the car, read a book. This is for home, but sometimes I do use it at school. And I've had a few students where I've actually made one of these and um, sent them home with them so that their parents have access to it. So a lot of times, this is a picture of my geckos that I'll add if they wanna earn that. This is just me being silly, that's my logo. And um, here is my picture and my name, Miss Martin. So I will add myself to this, but I can also add real life pictures of food that they prefer or um, any special things that they have in their desk. I will take a picture and this is all editable and then I can add a label and the picture. All right, here is my example one. I picked a random name, Jessica. And so the first page you can see has the first and then piece, which you can add your own icons and a type of token board, which I then will put a Velcro strip right here. For this, I printed it on eight and a half by 11, just so that it's clearer to see. Normally I would print it much smaller than this. So I included two pages of the schedule, two of them with the same tabs, just because throughout a whole school day, um, it's much easier and it provides enough space for you. Here I have choices. So a lot of times my students will wanna pick um, bean bag or different choices, so I leave this page. Then um, there's a page for worksheets. This is how I will do it. I will put pictures that might say write or um, name on page, stuff like that, so that I have it right here for when I need to cue them on how to complete their work. Here, um, I took a blank page. I took off the grids and I'm actually going to put this, let me see if I can get it for you, which is my protocol on how to raise your hand and wait for help for a worksheet. I'm just gonna glue it right there, laminate over top, and that will now be part of the book as well. Here I have any extra pieces that are going to go on, so I tend to have at least two pages of this because every day is different and sometimes I just need to store my extra pages right there. So let's get started on laminating. One of the other things that I've been prepping and using are the first then and the penny boards. I hope you can see that, but I'm actually Sometimes I use the black and white one, but I think I'm actually gonna use the pink one this time, so I'm gonna laminate this. And then um, my students love to use um, these little tokens. A lot of times they get distracted by the pennies, if I'm being honest, and so I tend to use the tokens. I print them, laminate them, cut them out, and add Velcro. Now, I think I showed in another video, but I am using this, so, this is just an iris photo case and then I put one of those on top. But another option is I just put together this one on a clipboard and so I'm actually right now going to Velcro my board so that I'm able to keep my extra pieces and my tokens. Let me show you. I just used an old one, so sorry that there's some dents in it and stuff, but I'm not gonna use my new one. Um, 
So I put two pieces of soft Velcro so that um, on my little tokens like this, I can put the hard Velcro and they can work towards these. Some of the options that I've been using that come with the book are toys, video, fruit. Um, some of my kids really do love fruit, so good job adding that in. And computer. So that's something that I've been using. So I'm waiting for my laminator to heat up and I have a lot of books to do. Sometimes I use the school laminator, but I like the thickness of the Scotch um, laminating sheets. And so it's also easier to do it at home. I can watch TV, I can talk to people on the phone, my friends can be sitting here hanging out with me. So I'm just going to put all of my papers that I have in my laminating sheets and I'm going to start laminating. All right, I am back from Staples and I'm just um, three hole punching stuff as I talk to you. Um, I went and got my book bound professionally. Now you can obviously um, get a book binding machine, which I do have, um, but I don't always like the look of it as much. Obviously up to you, but I got it bound at Staples and I got the one inch and that's just because I like having space for the the velcro because if you get it with the small binding it, it doesn't work very well i spent three or four dollars to get it bound and it ha they did it in like 10 minutes so um that's always an option or you can invest in um a book binding machine or honestly if your school has one which my school doesn't but my old school used to i want to show you the other option which is the binder um this is an eight and a half by five I believe I will make sure to write it down whatever it is I'll look it up and um, it's just blue I don't really care but I printed the book smaller I blocked off the names because I'm actually going to use this one but you laminate and then you three hole punch um, which don't use a regular three hole puncher use a singular punch because um, this is a smaller size and I make I just make sure I print the pieces smaller um, which most of my students books are actually the eight and a half by five which I print on half of a sheet of paper all right Okay, so I have been working and working. The sun is going down because I've been making a ton of books. It is now, what time is it? Oh my. It's now 7.21. I don't know if you can see that. I have just been working, working, working. So something else I think I mentioned was some of the pieces that I, I like to take and laminate and cut them out. And then I like to put them on um, a book ring. So this is one that says um, go to class, walk with the teacher, listen, write. So that way I'm prompting, but it's not verbally. Um, I can just show the picture and point. That is something that is super helpful. Um, I think everyone knows about these, but these are the Velcro dots. I get these off Amazon by V Key. They're like $6 for a couple hundred, and they have um, the soft and the hard Velcro. This saves my life, which I know tons of people have recommended, but I will leave the link down below. These are the best, the best. And all you have to do is just put the piece on. You don't have to cut. Oh my gosh, it makes life so much easier.
Now, obviously, you can keep using this for the first then and for earning some tokens, but also, like I've shown you many times, I tend to use it like this or I use it with the clipboard. And again, they can earn all of those. All right, this is another option like I showed in my previous video, except this one I made it um, standing up. Now I don't know if you can see that, but I cut it out and I cut the back and folded it over, added some Velcro, and now I have a standing schedule. Some of my students cannot handle a whole book and they can't look at that many pictures at once. And so because of that, I might just put a few pictures of what they need to do at the beginning and I might leave them right there. And then I might also give them one of these. So they're gonna start and they're gonna be earning as they go. For example, I'm going to put task boxes are first and then morning work is second. In a real world, I don't know if I'd do that, but whatever, we're gonna go with it. As they start to work on this, I'm gonna give them a token. As they keep working, they're going to earn more and more tokens until all of this is filled in. It may look really bright as I'm standing in front of the window, but it is actually 8.30 p.m. and it is still the summertime and so I still wanna have fun. So even though it's kind of late, I worked through dinner, I'm actually gonna go meet my friend at dinner at Whole Foods and we're just gonna get food and maybe sit outside while it's still bright enough and I'll drink my kombucha and then um, I'm gonna come back and I'm so tired. But thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then please comment below. Tell me how you're using your schedules, what kinds, what methods. Um, I would love to see that. And especially on Instagram, if you're using this flip book or you're using a variation of an especially education, visual schedule of some kind, please, please notify us and let us know. We would love to see how you're using that in your classroom. And so until next time, thank you so, so much and bye.